Next we're going to be doing some special tests for the uh, neck or cervical spine. Um, the first one that we can do is called a shoulder abduction uh, test. And for this one, uh, we're going to ask the patient to uh, abduct their arms and put, place his hands on top of his head. And if that uh, increases any uh, pains or symptoms in his uh, neck area, uh, then that would be a positive uh, indication for a nerve root injury or a uh, herniated disc. Next one that we're going to do is called the Spurling test. The Spurling test. Uh, for that one, what we're going to have the patient do is, again, sitting. Uh, we're going to have him uh, extend his head and then uh, laterally flex his head to the side of injury. And then we're going to apply uh, compression down his neck. And again, if that causes uh, uh, pain uh, in his neck or down his arm, or then uh, that would also be a positive sign for a, a nerve or a disc problem. Next one that we're going to do is a compression test. Uh, for this one, again, we'll have them sitting, uh, again, in a neutral position. Uh, and I'm going to clasp my hands together and place them on top of his head. And all I'm going to do is um, uh, push uh, straight downwards. So I'm compressing his uh, cervical spine. And again, that would cause uh, pain in his uh, vertebra, nerve root, or uh, disc problems. Uh, another thing that we can do is, is if we have compression, we can also uh, do distraction. Uh, so th this can be done either in a sitting position or supine. So uh, in the sitting position, uh, what I would do is uh, I would grab the lateral side of his head and uh, while he's sitting there comfortably, I would just raise his skull, uh, again distracting, so that would, whereas the compression would cause pain, this would relieve some of the pain. So that's distracting, so I'm distracting the vertebra. We can also do the distraction test in a supine position uh, with his head just near the edge of the table. Uh, and again, I'm going to, just like in a sitting position, I'm going to uh, grab his uh, skull and tilt his head a little bit, and I'm going to apply a, a distraction, uh, so I'm pulling uh, towards me uh, with the cervical spine. Again, that's going to relieve any uh, symptoms that he, that he had with the compression test that I did. The next special test for the um, head and neck is called the um, Oppenheim test. And for this one, this is done on the lower, lower leg. Uh, Basically what you can do is you can use your thumbnail and just kind of drive your nail down the anterior medial border. And if uh, that causes his uh, great toe to uh, spray or hyper, uh, a hypersensitive, uh, then that would be a positive indication for a brain or uh, spinal cord injury. Uh, likewise, we also have a test that's called the Babinski test. And for this one, uh, we can use a neurological hammer or something uh, pointed uh, finger and what I'm going to do is I'm basically with this one I'm going to um, again watch for the uh, um, towards the uh, medial side on the the great toe and if again if that was a positive test the uh, toes would spray or he'd be uh, hypersensitive again for a uh, brain or uh, spinal cord uh, injury